You can see them. Yeah, yeah. Ooh! <laughs> hey! Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking and welcome back to another vlog. In our today's video, we are going to experience a tour in an organic farm situated at Kiserian. Please join me as we learn and unlearn a few things about organic farming and we also see practically how it is done. The setup you see is tactically made for the birds. This is simply a feeding structure and it's expected that after birds feed on this, they are able in return to enrich the soil of this organic farm and they can also aid in the pollination of the plants. This specific location is where the compost is usually prepared. At this stage is where you will find the fresh manure. The first stage is right there. Vegetation materials are expected to dry here. They are then transferred to this other side and the other necessary materials are added and this is the final manure. This setup is under construction and it is meant to obtain nutrients from the compost location whenever it rains. The nutrients will be obtained in form of liquids. This area serves as the post-harvesting place. Organic farming majorly involves intercropping. These are the cherry tomatoes. Mm. I got the opportunity to also enjoy them during the tour. Right now you can see sunflowers and also leeks and maize intercropped together. These are garlics. Unlike the other type of farming, in organic farming, they usually leave the seeds so that they may dry and then they are replanted. These are still garlic. You are likely to find the sunflower plant grown along the blocks. This is a strategy which helps to attract birds to come and feed on them. And in return, they are able to enrich the organic farm once they excrete their wastes. On this section, there is the butter beans intercropped with cowpeas. This is exactly how an indigenous maize looks like, the one which is grown organically. It has a range of colors unlike the other one. You are also likely to find ladybirds on the organic maize plants. That is what we call turmeric. Turmeric na kanga yu. Nilikuwa na na shanga i banana kwa ni itagi kukua kubwa. I literally didn't have any idea how turmeric plants really look like. But guys, here we are. I hope you are also unlearning and learning some few things about farming. This is how flowering looks like in turmeric plants and please guys do give this video a thumbs up in case it's your first time on this channel thank you so much for joining and please do subscribe for more videos coming
the sunflower plants are usually covered this way to prevent the birds from feeding on the seeds. Scarecrows are also significant in the farm because they help to scare away birds which act as the main predators. Black beans commonly known as njahe, they grow as they attach themselves on other plants. I just learned that there are two types of butter beans. This is what we came up with. Isn't it? So mm. inakuanga kubwa hivo. Mm. Na inakuanga hii e, purple and... Kuna purple na kuna white bado. Oh, yes. so types ni tofauti. This is the potato. Mm. It's been planted. Mm. So okay. we have macadamia on that lane. Mm. So we everything goes white. I can feel the breeze. You fall to your This is the technique used by this farm to irrigate its crop. Hii nayo ni kitunguu. Hii ni ready on you. Na ile na that wheat. McDonald high. Siju. Suna yoi. Isiji. Bas ni shei yoana. Kwa nini chakula? Is it a bog? Is a vegetable. You can eat. Akini. Nothing goes into waste in this organic farming. In case any farm produce is spoiled in the farm before it is sold, it is taken back to the compost and it is used to make manure which is fed to the soil. So the more generations you have, the sweeter it the produce. It is so much common for organic plants to be infested with pests and worms. These are more leeks grown on the farm. And these are cowpeas. The farm has been divided into various blocks. These are more cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes are so much amazing when used to make guacamole. From my personal experience, they have a very great taste unlike the other normal tomatoes. These are more kills that is kumawi. So you dey go to natwa? Mhm. You to the tena bits. Okay. Yeah. So tuna fanya skumeni. Sana. Wow. So is this in Mekoma for how long? Five months now. Mm. But then it took how long do you it was mature? Three, three months. These are the cowpeas, commonly known as the kunde seeds. For the longest time I've been referring this as just kunde seeds. I didn't know whether they are the cowpeas because I used to get it wrong. But now when I came here, I also learned something new that these are the cowpeas and the other ones are the ones which are referred as the pigeon peas. 
This is the plowing machine. It is used to combine the soil with the compost manure. Inaindanga how much deep? Chini. Depending. Yes, you can see this different soil from that to that cotton. So this was the cotton soil. All of it was a cotton. So so you can see how to transform a cotton soil to be productive. You just use compost. Compost is the thing. And you are good. Our skuma is here. Like imagine kubwa hivi. Like seriously. What? Ju normal majani hiyo. Hii mtu atakwambia this is GMO. But can you see any signs of uh, Hakuna. of uh, the way mepigo hapo? Hakuna. Na si ukiona kwa shamba zile zingine utapata matawi ikiwa na ndawa. Eh. So you see this signs. Na si mnafaa kuuza. Ama yeah, tunauza kwenye yeah. mtu hata nyua tuna tu tunaka kwa combo of course we have wow. a combo nothing is going to waste yes. organic farming is usually so much economical when you try the ginger mm. and it failed why not it has not yet adapted the area transport cotton yeah. is a hub I learned that this particular hub is good especially for a person who has a wound or any cut. The liquid from this plant is able to promote faster healing of wounds or cuts. That is so amazing. The plant is called croton. Croton. Yes. This is sijawezi on. Allah. Hizi zilipandwa ama zilijipanda? Zimejimesa peke yake. Ai. Sawa. Then hii unajua hii ni nini mchicha eh ya hiyo ni tele mchicha so hiyo unajua chacho kwa mchanga the mchanga ina remain kuwa hapo so you see the value of the soil in the quite initially sio ni kwa hapo sio so it's been fed with something else so it's growing very slow so that's it This structure promotes security to both the bees and the beehives. It also ensures that honey harvesting is carried out in a very secure place. Artistica farm? Yeah. It is also an hub, ama it is just a hub in the is a tree. Oh. But it's good for it's a good way to break up. Oh. Yeah. So, so, so. in a side yanga he was asking. Mm. The reason to panda pia sunflower is side. Mm. It you have to prevent dust. Mm. So none of the size of the sunflower. Yeah. <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> Only in this Because in Akula this. Oh. Yeah, hey, in Akula chapo. You know the place is flat. Hii inakaanga how long chini? 3 to 4 months hmm. itakuwa ready sasa ikauke. Oh. Eh. This is ilikuwa the nenzi kwa vested. So we are about to plant them again. Eh. So this is the main This tactic is used to prevent the birds from feeding on the maize. Inaitwa Condia abyssinica. Mhm. Uh -huh. Abyssinica, mm. or we could call it, it moringa. Yeah. This is a sweet one. Yeah. You see, mm. 
is yellow. Mm. But it's soft. It's ever soft. Mm. Hata ikiwa mature. Hata ikiwa mature is soft. Si una kama imechua. Mm. It's soft. It's already dried. Mm. Sendio? Mm. But it's soft. Sana. Finya. Sana. It's soft. That's the difference. And when you cook it, when mm. you boil it, mm. it's not for cooking. Kideri ama for making you gari hapana. It is for boil to prepare. You can boil then you eat. This is the sukuma wiki which is commonly referred as kagro. Always remember that in case you need any of the products from this farm, you can always get it. Just get to Instagram. Search Kamami Organics on Instagram. You'll get their page. You can order whatever you want and get your products to be delivered. Also check in my next videos. I'm going to the organic farmers market. It is usually at Karen. We shall go and see what really happens in this market which happens on every Saturday and I will share with you more information about it. So please do subscribe. It is free of charge to always get updated whenever new videos are coming. These are some of the essential herbs which are used to grow crops in any organic farming. It's very good. And when I can see it has a, it has a fruit. Ah. It is not a fruit but a seed. Mm. Good for bees. Mm. Yes. Many beautiful. Yeah. So bees, they love the things which are attractive. Yes. Something amazing about this farm is that everything grown here is of use to either human beings or to the farm during the organic farming. This is the cherry guava. It's still an herb. Mm. And the fruits also are eaten. This kind of a this kind of a proton. Umesema hii ni inaitwa marigold. Oh marigold. Na kuna max gani marigold. So oh. as I go bit there is a, there is marigold and max can marigold. Mexican na katambua. Max can marigold ndio hii. Ni weed. It is a weed and it's a repellent. Smell it. Yeah. And you smell that. Yeah, it's a repellent. Yeah, even that one is a repellent. You know, it smells so good. Yes, even that one. Mm. Wow. Mm. So in short, weeds are good. Very, very. Not all weeds are bad. This is a apple. Yeah. Apples grow like juice. this. Uh, uh. Yeah. But my apple means in Azalea, apple. Kafupi too. Kama zingine tunazo mahali tu. Mm. So this is an apple. Ni venye tu imeenda urefu sana. Alright. Yep. Hii ni mchungwa. Mm-mm. Ama ni ndimu. It's just a, it's a kind of a tree. Did you not want? Aya. Naka ni mchungwa. Ndimu. Sio mchungwa. Hmm. Mm. Na hii naka hivi. Ndiyo tumesima proton hiyo. Oh. A kind of a proton hiyo. Aka ni kamchungwa. Yeah, sasa aka kamchungwa. It is flowery. Yeah. But tunaipia chakula sasa tena.
Hizi ni leeks. Hizo ni leeks. Mm. Kuna hapa tunajaribu mangoes. Mango sio na mne nafanya. Mm. Yeah. The apple ones. Yes. Na wow. hapa tuko na hiyo passion fruit yellow. Mm. Na hii pigeon pea sasa ile nzo. Oh yeah yeah so yeah. Sasa yeah. kwa hapa tunajaribu but mm. si kila mahali zinafanya. Oh. Yes. Unaona chini? Mm. Huku chini ni lookwat. Mm. Dora, sana jana. Nazijua lookwat. Zinakwanga tamu zinakwanga za yellow, yes. si ndio? Yes, it is grafted. Zina meanga mostly easy places baridi. I did it. Mm. I grafted it to. Mm. And it's productive. You wow. so you expect the kind you of taste. You experimented how it will be. So sweet. Yeah, so that is it. So it is basically a lookwat. Lookwat and hapo Na haka ni kanini? That's the code cherry guava. Oh. So they have to get here and you cool red or yellow. Yes. How do you call this particular plant in English? Please comment on the comment section. I just know it in Swahili language. It is usually the pilipili. Pili. Yeah, so maybe you can comment down there its English name. These are more leaves. In case you want to enjoy some organic products, kindly get to Instagram then search Kamami Organics. You can order and you can also visit their farm. Yeah, this is called a blue sticker. Yeah. That is for trap in specific insects mm. like uh, half it. This is the panina, this one. Uh, but this one, mm. it is, it is, it is, a, it fades on this plant. Naiki ni kinini? This is a sweet potato. Ni type gani a sweet potato? Uh, this is one is a... The white one? No, the yellow. This is what we call chia seed. Chia seed. I don't know whether you have ever met it. I've ever met it many times. Yes. So it is protein. Yeah, very nice one. Yeah. You can put it in a tea or in a water. But it's a hard work for getting it. Mm. So you have Na seeds ziko? Seeds. Nizi zimekunjwa huku. Kidogo. This is the seed. Where? Ndo hizo sasa. challenges for producing nyanya organic mm. ideally we get it right mm. with herbs so herbs mm. are very excellent for getting mm. uh, good how did you do it also using the basil and uh, the marigold mm. works good
Hii ni banana passion. Banana passion. Yes, What is that? Passion. Mm. I can see them. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> The liquid is here. Oh, it just spills. Yeah. So this is how it is. So this is NPK. Yes, NPK. Yes. So, so even this they will feed on it. Yeah, they feed, but you don't need to give much of it. Monarchy is acidic. Oh. Mm. oh. The more they eat, the more they eat. Mm. And do they need sun? They don't need sun. It's the good one. It's the good one. Not every kind of one. So the worms are not good in your farm. They are good. Uh, they, it's a cool mind. they don't. Uh. What they do, they create something called a nitrification. So you uh. can justify with what is the farm. We mm. put here. Now mm. this is our seedling. Mm. We take it to plant. Mm. Yeah. This is the plowing machine. This is the sharp cutter. This has been the most amazing farm tours I have ever had. Please comment on the comment section and let me know how the experience has been. Allow me to see you on the next video and please do not leave without subscribing. Bye!